YouTube, it's Ben here with the 60 gallon cichlid tank and today we're going to talk about servicing a canister and I'm going to show you how I do it. It takes me about a half hour. I know some people avoid canister filters because they're afraid of uh, how long it's going to take uh, for the servicing. Uh, they do need to be serviced um, perhaps more regularly than um, people tend to uh, advertise but uh, I'm going to show you how I get it done in about a half hour. It's pretty quick, pretty simple and I hope it helps. And uh, hey, check out the t-shirt. Yeah, that's KG Tropicals. John and Lisa Hudson. Love those guys over there. Now they're offering all types of products. And um, so check them out, KG Tropicals. And on Facebook, check them out on Tank Talk. All right? So let's take a look at uh, how I service the canister. Maybe, uh, maybe it'll help you. First thing I do is I fill two uh, buckets, two of these five gallon, um, just standard hardware store type buckets. I fill both of them up uh, about three quarters uh, filled, two, three quarters full with uh, tank water, okay, with tank water. And uh, then we go ahead and get the, uh, get the canister out from under the uh, tank. With the Sun Sun canisters, you wanna go ahead and lock out the top first before you unplug it. So just lock out this top, which stops the water flow. Okay, it's still plugged in, it's still running. Now that it's locked out, now I unplug the canister. Okay, the canister is now unplugged and these tubes are full of water. Now on every other servicing, I will take the tubes and this head unit here and, uh, and clean them out as well. I do that every other cleaning. On this cleaning, I'm just gonna remove this, remove it and not actually uh, clean, clean the tubes out this time, but I will next time, okay? But you leave these full of water on purpose and you'll see why, because later it becomes a lot easier to prime, prime your filter that way. Okay, I've cracked open the, um, I've cracked open the canister. Uh, normally, I would go ahead and remove this section of the motor unit, the uh, part that you see right here, uh, that's the uh, where the propeller is, a little rotor, and I'm not going to pull that out on this cleaning, I'll do that on the next cleaning, so I'm just going to set the uh, motor unit aside, and uh, then what I do is I just rinse all these items off with clean water, all aquarium water, that's all I clean with is aquarium water, okay? clean, a little purigen, doesn't look bad, I don't think it needs to be re, re, uh, recharged, just going to rinse it, looks pretty good, a lot of life left in that, before I have to recharge it, yeah, looks pretty good. And uh, this is my uh, Marine Pure Ceramic Media, Marine Pure Cer Media, C E R Media, Marine Pure. Very good stuff, very high quality stuff. Just all I do is dip it in here, shake it around a little bit. That's all it needs. Into the clean water. Here's about a half kilo of uh, Biohome Ultimate. Again, same same process. All you got to do. Now, uh, Joey over at the uh, Do It Yourself, uh, the King of D Do It Yourself, said you can crush these like kitty litter and this has been running for about two years now uh, about a year maybe a year uh, or so a little over a year and they will they you cannot crush them so I don't know what Joey was talking about over at the King of DUI maybe he was crushing kitty litter I don't know anyway so uh, now I've got my final basket and this basket has some floss on top 
which I tuck in around the around the sides of the filters. I tuck the floss in. Now the floss I don't reuse. The floss just gets too messed up. That's polyfill floss. I just toss that. And then these sponges that I cut myself, they're egg crate sponges, give you more surface area. Those just get really, really rinsed really well. Again, in tank water. Why? Because they're loaded with good bacteria. And that's good. That's my fine sponge. It's got a little bit of that. Uh, it's got some of the floss on there, which tends to be uh, come apart a bit. Okay. And here's the uh, medium. You can see the see the floss on it. All right. That's all it needs. Put it back in the tank water. And then I've got the fine, or rather the uh, the coarse, the coarse sponge on the bottom. Okay, and you can see where it's been catching. It's been catching in those pockets, so you can keep a lot of surface area there. So let's clean this one out. This is usually the gunkiest one of the batch. By the way, this water that you see here getting very dirty is going to go into some plants because it is very nutrient rich. All right, so uh, looking good. All right, into the, aqu into the aquarium water to safeguard the, uh, the beneficial bacteria that's, that's in those sponges. <clears throat> this bottom basket here, Got a little rinse. Okay, now I've got the gunk that's at the bottom of my canister. I'll take that over to the sink. If you don't have these lights, buy them. You can get them at any, any hardware store for about five bucks. All right, so let's go and rinse out this canister. I have some rings at the bottom of the canister. These rings are not for uh, beneficial bacteria. The rings are just to break up, just to break up the water flow. If you want to know more about the theory behind that, you can watch the, uh, the video by Pond Guru on how to pimp your canister, okay? He talks about that. I pour out, I already poured out the first batch of, uh, of gunky water into some of the ferns out here in the backyard. So this water is not going to look as gross as it normally would look. So the canister is all cleaned out now. Now let's replace the uh, the baskets. And you'll notice um, I have a little black mark here, right there with a the, with a magic marker that just lines up where the little intake hole goes. So you're not messing around with it. Okay. So of course we just put them back in in the opposite order. Making sure that the uh, making sure that this uh, egg crate is facing down. Put the coarse one in first, then the medium, and then the fine.
Okay, sponges are ready. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck, I'm going to tuck some polyfill right on top of the whole thing here. Uh, almost sealing that that set of sponges with polyfill because I want the water that touches my my uh, beneficial bacteria media to be as clean as possible. I used to take the time to cut these perfect. I used to use the um, some of the factory provided um, filters as a, a template to cut these perfect. You don't need to do that. You just need to stuff it on top of the uh, on top of the sponges. And with your finger, you can make a hole through it so that the uh, intake tube is unblocked, okay? You don't need to have these cut perfect. They're a pain in the butt to cut, especially to precision cut them. So you don't need to waste your time doing that. You can, you can see what I did there. I just tucked it in all on the edges. And using my finger, I just broke a hole in it so that that black, the black um, intake is, is uh, free to take water from the tank, push it to the bottom of the uh, canister, and then of course the motor sucks the water up through the filtration and back to the tank. Okay? Very simple. Okay, let's replace some of the biological media. Again, using that black, black Sharpie as a guide for the hole, so you match it up correctly. extra rings I'm going to toss in there just for the heck of it. A few rings I had left over. Alrighty. Let's put the purigen in there. There you go. Now, my next move is I'm going to fill this canister up with water about halfway between this top screen and the lip. I'm going to fill it up about up, up to here in water and that way when I when I turn the canister on it's going to start running. It's not going to need any uh, pumping or anything to start running, okay? And of course what that is is tank water. All right, never have your media touch anything except tank water because you might risk uh, killing your beneficial bacteria. Even though my tap water here uh, tests near zero with chlorine and pretty interesting, huh? But at any rate, um, definitely use your tank water to fill up this canister. Okay, I've repositioned the canister and now uh, notice how I've left left it open okay I've left it open here or rather shut locked out I haven't actually opened up the flow yet so you, you plug it in before you open that flow okay so the canister is plugged in now and um, I've locked this down and um, you can rock the canister a little bit just to get some of the air out of it. And we go up here. And no muss, no fuss. We're running good. Okay, no priming. No uh, pushing on the notorious blue button, which uh, <laughs> people tend to complain about on the Sun Sun canisters. If you fill them up, and you keep these tubes full of water, it's, uh, it's a breeze, okay? Now granted, when I service the tubes, I, uh, I do need to uh, prime maybe once or twice, but because I'm filling up the canister with water, the whole process is very, very easy, very simple, okay? So um, that's it. And uh, if I hadn't been uh, making this video, uh, this would be a, uh, a process that takes roughly about a half hour, okay? 
and you end up with a serviced canister. Just making sure you follow each of the steps carefully, and um, and you're good to go. Okay, I service the. I have two canisters, as you probably know, those of you who watch my videos. I service them on on alternating weekends, and I've moved my service schedule up to uh, once a month, because as you know, I've increased the bio load in my tank. I have fish that are. Uh, larger than I've had in the past and because of that I need to service my canisters a bit more frequently where I used to go six to uh, six to eight weeks between uh, canister servicing now I'm doing it once a month doing one canister at a time and uh, and of course I do the uh, once a week vacuuming you know and uh, 50 60 percent water change and then I do a midweek 30% uh, water change. And that is going to, um, of course, continue to bring my nitrates down, which if you watched in my prior video were about 40, 50 parts per million, which is unacceptable to me. Okay? So um, that's my new regimen. And, of course, every other week I pull all the decor out during the vacuuming. And that helps me, helps me maintain uh, pristine, pristine water conditions. And most importantly, uh, healthy fish. All right? So I hope that helps. And uh, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, you guys are great. Bye-bye.